Hello there, let's talk about the activity for lesson 3.01, uh, energy and temperature. When you get into Buzz for this lesson, you're going to have your lesson pages, and then you're going to see a link for the Google Doc that I've created for this assignment. It's up to you if you like to use the Google Doc, it will force you to make your own copy. Please know that then you need to share it with me um, before you submit it into Buzz as your assignment, otherwise I kick it right back to you with a note saying I need access. Uh, so I'll talk more about that as we get into the lesson. When you open up lesson 3.01, make sure you're spending time working through all six of these lesson pages. The information that you get in them is going to help you complete this activity. Now, the most important thing you need to know is that for this activity, you are not creating an actual lab. Let me repeat that you will not be doing a lab. You will not be getting the supplies and setting things up. You are merely thinking about and designing what this lab would look like if you were to do it. There's a lot of reminders that say you don't have to actually set it up. When you get to this page six and you see the box with the assignment in, I'm going to read what it says right here. It's one thing to say air, land, and water heat differently as a scientist. You have to prove it. This activity will heat up your critical thinking skills by having you develop an experiment that tests whether land or water heats faster. Hmm. Gee, that sounds kind of like the reason you would be doing something. You're going to develop an experiment that tests whether land or water heats faster. Remember that phrase. Follow the directions on the worksheet and submit the worksheet when finished. There's also a grading rubric that I have um, put in the Google document so that you can see exactly how this assignment is graded, or you can click here to open that up. All right, let's take a look at this worksheet. First and foremost, you are not performing the experiment. You are only designing it. There are two parts to this activity. To get started, the purpose of this assignment is to design an experiment that another student could follow to and use to test whether land or water heats faster. We've heard that twice now, so that must be important. You're going to complete the following. Part one is the experimental design where you plan out the experiment by answering guiding questions. Part two is where you design the actual lab report that a student would be filling out. The materials that you are going to be thinking about when you design this experiment, again, you're not running it, you're only designing it, you would include sand, water, heat lamps, thermometers, and cups. Remember that you need to be very detailed when you describe and write your procedures. In order for somebody else to follow what you're saying and understand, you need to be very specific in amounts, timing, and how things should be done. All right, part one is the experimental design. You're going to answer these questions thinking about the scientific method. Do not overthink these questions. Um, some of them, I, I I'll rephrase them a little bit for you uh, to help you understand They're, they really are, for the most part, many of them are as easy as they sound. Number one, what hypothesis will the experiment test? If I do this, then something will result. So think about the materials, think about the purpose, and create a hypothesis. What are the variables? The independent variable is the thing that changes. The dependent variable is what you are measuring or counting. All right, now what purpose is the sand serving? What is it, what is it acting like? What purpose does the water serve? What is that representing or acting like? What purpose do the heat lamps serve? What role are they playing? Remember, we're talking about energy and trans temperature of Earth. And we are creating a small experimental design to mimic that. So what role does the sand play? What role does the water play? And what role do the heat lamps play? What purpose are the thermometers? What do they do? How can you use the materials to test whether land or water heats faster? What would you do? And how would you compare 
whether land or water heats faster. What would you do to compare that? Within a 24 hour period, at what three points do you think temperatures should be taken? Hopefully you're getting an idea in your mind of what this lab would look like. You're not running it, but what would it look like? Hopefully you're building it in your mind already, especially after you've gone over the lesson pages and you're thinking about the earth and how things heat up and energy and temperature. What would an effective conclusion need to include? All right, all 10 of those questions must be answered. That is part one. Part two is where you design the lab report. You're going to explain the purpose of the lab. And then the procedure is started for you. But after gathering the materials, it doesn't tell you exactly what to do. So that's where you have to complete set numbers four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you need to add more, go right ahead. You need to explain how to use those materials to set up this lab. What will it look like? And remember, you need to be specific. Then your data analysis, you're going to have a table. You do not need to complete the table. All you need to do is label the columns and label the rows for the data that you would be collecting. Think about the materials you're using. Think about what you're measuring. Think about those different time periods of the day. Where is all that information going to go? And then finally, the conclusion. And this is basically copied from before. This explained what the experimenters should include to show how the data proved the hypothesis. All right, finally, the rubric is listed below so you can see exactly how you are being graded how many points for skilled scientists, developing scientists, and novice scientists in the experimental design section, the lab report, objective and procedure parts, and the lab report data analysis and conclusion. All right, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me and we can set up a time to talk more about this. Hopefully this will give you all the information you need to do an awesome job. Take care, guys.